Hey guys, Trev Waters here, and today we are talking about the brand new Bauer Profile 960 XPM Goal Mask, new for 2016. Quickly, I just want to say thank you to the guys over at Total Goalie for the mask, as well as my good pal Chris over at Total Goalie. They took care of me here, so thank you again, guys. So, in my opinion, I think Bauer makes hands down the best goal masks on the planet. I would never even consider wearing a Vaughn or a CCM mask at this point in my career. Bauer updated the mask this year for the first time in four years. Bauer potentially has a real gem here in my opinion with the 960 XPM, especially considering how well the last generation 960 was received. This is in my opinion the best looking mask on the market, the most comfortable, and it has a top notch reputation for a reason. And this year they polished off a few features in the 960 which is their top of the line mask. A lot of people are going to scratch their heads at this and say, you know, this is the exact same mask from four years ago with some graphics and the foams and the inside of your helmet, but are they right? You know, you probably are right for saying that it looks like the old one. In, in my opinion, if it ain't broken, don't fix it. So Bauer added their 37.5 technology sweatband and pretty much it's going to evaporate moisture faster, but in the two items that I have used it so far, I found this technology is yet to make a single difference from any of the other sweatbands I've used so far. You know, it took a day and a half to almost two days for the sweatband to fully dry out after a nice time. Keeping in mind, I left my mask out in the sun to dry in the heat. Now Bauer is using their X30 foams in all the high impact zones and it makes an interesting look. You know, it looks like the inside of a spaceship or a motherboard of a computer. If it makes the mask better, I'm all for it, but so far I found that this foam actually muffles all outside noises and becomes extremely difficult to listen to your surroundings on the ice. I found that I literally had to take off my mask in order to understand what the person was trying to say. So I'm going to be getting this mask custom painted really soon to match my team colors for this upcoming season. And one of the things that Bauer changed for their masks this year, which I really like, is now you can paint the mask and you do not void the warranty. In previous generations that was the case, not anymore. All you have to do is have somebody to remove the cage and everything else, foams included. You know, the foams this year are actually being screwed into the helmet instead of glued in. All in all, I'm really ecstatic about this mask. I'm really looking forward to giving you guys some more feedback moving forward as time goes on. You know, when you're making a thousand dollar investment into a mask, you want to make sure you're making the right decision. So let me know, what do you think? Do you like Bauer masks? Do you not? Whatever it may be, leave a comment down below. If you liked the video, make sure you leave a thumbs up because it really helps to support our page and helps us continue to make more videos just like this. I want to thank you all a lot for watching and I'll see you again in the next video. Down by the river, right by the water, learn by